Subsumption architecture, a revolutionary form of reactive robotics, made a significant impact in the robotics field during the 1980s and 90s. This proactive approach was introduced by Rodney Brooks along with his colleagues in 1986. Contrary to traditional AI's symbolic representation, subsumption architecture emerged with a new paradigm, focusing on real-world interactions and instant response mechanisms, hence gaining wide acceptance in autonomous robotics in real-time AI. This reactive robotic architecture emphasizes a bottom-up approach, prioritizing sensory inputs for action selection rather than predefined symbolic representations of the world. The overall behavior is divided into sub-behaviors structured in a hierarchical manner, each tier showcasing a unique level of behavioral competence. Lower levels of these behaviors are integrated by higher ones to generate a more comprehensive pattern of behavior, a method known as subsumption. For instance, a robot equipped with subsumption architecture might have the most primal layer commanding it to avoid an object, followed by wander around, capped by explore the world. In this setup, Lower tire competency feeds into the higher tires, orchestrating an integrated system where each layer uses the lower level abilities all layers operate in parallel, receiving sensor information and producing actionable outputs. Subsumption architecture radically shifts the perspective on intelligence from a classical AI standpoint. Rodney Brooks, venturing away from the lackluster performance of traditional AI models, targeted an unconscious aspect of intelligence. His focus centered on creating robots capable of realistic and effective responses in dynamic environments without necessarily mimicking the human cognitive symbol manipulation. Situatedness. The insistence that a robot should interact with its environment in real time, as humans do, avoiding representation of the world via symbols and acting, instead on its direct sensory perception. Embodiment. The philosophy that building a physical robot both combats the philosophical problem of simple grounding encountered by traditional AI and forces the creation of a tangible control system as opposed to theoretical or simulated model. Brooks believes that external environments are the world's best model, implying that a robot doesn't need to create an internal symbolic representation of the world, but can use its sensor motor signals to interact directly with the environment. Despite this, each robot module still carries very basic world models encoded into the algorithms themselves. This approach leans heavily on sensor feedback, bypassing the need for memory to forecast world behavior. The conception of subsumption architecture marked a pivotal movement in robotics, challenging the norms of eye in the revolutionary conquest of responsive real-world interaction. The emergence concept suggests that the collective interaction of individual modules, assessed through the lens of the observer, may be classified as intelligent, even though the individual units may not be. The debate surrounding this understanding of intelligence and its implication in the development of robotics and AU is ongoing. The process involves the application of augmented finite state machines. OFSIM essentially processors equipped with added instance variables to store programmable data structures. Each layer or module caters to a single behavioral objective, such as simple wandering without a centralized control system. This decentralized architect works by AFSIMs continuously and asynchronously, receiving input and sending output to actuators or other AFSIMs the signals that are not read get discarded, yielding a performance advantage as it allows the system to operate in real time. Communication within this decentralized network is facilitated through inhibition and suppression signals. These signals either block or modify the inputs to layers or their AFSIMs, providing a hierarchy where higher layers subsume lower ones. Following a natural progression, the lowest layer is developed first and is incrementally added upon once it's successfully running. Some successful robots like Herbert and Genghis deploy the subsumption architecture which prioritizes iterative development testing of real-time systems, linking limited, task-specific perception directly to action, and parallel control integrating perception, control, and action systems akin to animals. This architecture, however, encapsulates a few drawbacks as well. Designing adaptable action selections can get complex due to the highly distributed system of inhibition and suppression. On top of that, lack of large memory and symbolic representation restricts the system's aptitude, especially language comprehension. Despite this, the unique setup and approach of the subsumption architecture allowed it to shine in areas where traditional AI struggled. Notably, it fared well in the real-time interaction with dynamic environments. 
However, its shortcomings include learning complex actions in depth mapping and language comprehension due to the dearth of ample memory storage, symbolic representations, and central control.